We are now back to Lightning Talks. Uh, only this time we are going to Georgia, the country, or rather Derek Dohler, our next Lightning Talk speaker, is coming here. Cue Derek. Yay, everyone welcome Derek. Derek joins us from Transparency International Georgia, where he is a self-described resident computer geek and specialist in using technology to advance open government. Okay, Gamar Jabat. Once again, one more time, Gamar Jabat. Very good. Now you know how to say hello in Georgian for the 448 of you who um, didn't already know how to say that. Um, so, as Lauren Ellen said, I'm Derek Dohler. I work at Transparency International uh, Georgia, and obviously you've figured out by now that that's Georgia the country, not Georgia the state. Um, we're kind of close to Russia and Turkey and um, a few other small countries that you may or may not have heard of. Um, and I've been in Georgia for about a year and a half. Um, and one of the first things that I kind of wanted to find out when I got to Georgia was, okay, where's the blogosphere? Where's all the discussion happening online? Um, and what I fairly quickly found out is that uh, in the terms that we think of as a blogosphere, there actually isn't really a blogosphere in Georgia. Um, there are a few sites that uh, we would think of as blogs, um, but for the most part, you don't have a lot of conversation occurring on websites that, that we would think of you know, from the United States as being a blog. But there is um, discussion occurring online in Georgia, and you can probably guess it's happening on Facebook. So um, we'll get back to that in a second, but for now I want to step back and just look at a few stats about Georgia. Um, the population of Georgia is about 4.4 million people um, and about 793,000 people on Facebook according to their ad um, data as of yesterday. So that's about 18% of the population on Facebook. Um, now, to compare that to the internet usage, um, internet usage in Georgia, there's about 40% of the citizens say that they use the internet at least occasionally, and about 60% um, don't use it or don't even know what the internet is. That's that 4% down there. Um, that's not particularly unusual, as far as I can tell, but what I do think is interesting is that back in 2006, when um, Facebook opened up to the public, that number of internet penetration was about 7.5%. So that means that Facebook usage in Georgia is probably one of the first things that people do once they get online, because actually Facebook usage and internet penetration is growing. So you actually have basically a situation where there's very little difference in some people's minds between the internet and Facebook. And you have things like restaurants that um, simply don't exist on the internet. This restaurant does not have a web page. All they have is their Facebook page. And there are plenty of businesses in Georgia um, that are like that. So this is not a talk about, okay, Facebook is changing the world, Facebook results in the Arab Spring, that kind of thing. Um, but what it is is I want to talk about um, what happens when you have a culture which basically skips all of the early 2000s. Um, they had none of that. You know, no one, a lot of people really didn't have internet until just the past four years or so in Georgia. Um, and so basically what they've done is leapfrog. Um, that's a term that usually gets applied to mobile technologies. Countries in Africa have um, simply skipped the landline phone phase and they've gone straight to mobile phones. And you have interesting cultural things that happen when people don't use the, the landlines there. So that's how I kind of view this in Georgia is they've simply skipped that. The effect on the Georgian political discussion um, because of this is that Georgian Facebook is extremely flat. That is, there are not a whole lot of barriers. People are pretty much themselves. So um, in the US, we had a, private, a more private version of Facebook. And as they've taken those privacy settings away, we've had to learn how to use this extremely complex website to add the privacy to Facebook um, that we're now missing. Can we hold on this slide for a bit? Um, and so, no, sorry, don't hold on this slide. Yeah, um, in Georgia, they don't really have that. So let's look at an example. Um, this is a television show called Women's Logic. Um, it just debuted on one of uh, Georgia's television shows, and I'm not gonna go into exactly what the plot is, but basically some people found it fairly offensive. Um, <laughs> and so uh, there was um, a fair amount of discussion about this uh, on Georgian Facebook, and um, some people eventually decided to organize a protest in front of the television studio using Facebook. And um, what happened was this is a pro-government television station, and one of the major pro-government uh, news magazines came out in support of the television show, also on Facebook. So you actually had the editorial board of this news magazine acting as themselves um, 
working, basically debating the people who had organized the protest um, on Facebook. So you have, this is the name of the organization, it's called Tabula, and then we have um, a protest here. So basically you have the leaders of these groups actually as themselves on Facebook, not you know, uh, debating using dueling TV appearances or press releases or press conferences or anything like that, but actually kind of going head to head on Facebook and having a direct debate. And that's something that we don't see in the US as much. Um, in the US we've got kind of, you know, people show up on television stations, they give their remarks, but um, direct debate between people of opposing viewpoints um, doesn't happen quite so much. So that's what I mean by having Facebook being flat. So what's the point of all this? Um, the point is, I like to look at this from the perspective of my 14-year-old cousin. Um, she has experienced in the internet and Facebook in a very similar way to Georgian's. Um, and right now, she's interested in using the internet for other things, i.e. not pol politics. But in a few more years, she's going to be using Facebook and the internet and to have more of a cultural awareness. And people of her age now are going to be doing that. And so I think that we may be able to look at Georgia as kind of a preview of how these 14-year-olds um, are going to be using the internet, i.e. people who have never experienced anything but an internet that contains Facebook. And so maybe Georgia might be a preview of that. Thank you. <laughs>